Okay, here is a quick video clip. We are uh, we just unboxed the um, Bofang, the DM uh, 5R Plus that we just got in the mail yesterday or two days ago. Uh, we're ready to program it. Uh, we didn't buy the programming cable, so uh, we were kind of hoping that the uh, the MD380 cable will not work by uh, the TYT. But the USB cable that came with the with one of my uh, Wofangs uh, worked fine. Went on to the uh, the website that I ordered the actual um, radio from, which is uh, uh, I think it's Radio 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 Diddy .com. Downloaded the software. Uh, which is right there, and then we also downloaded uh, the drivers for XP, Vista, and Win7. I'm using, a, this laptop has Windows 8.1. Uh, after we downloaded the drivers, it actually brought us to this particular website, uh, which is uh, meeklaw.com, and we downloaded the uh, prolific 3.2.00 uh, driver. Uh, I installed the 64-bit, uh, one one of the things that you have to definitely do is you have to update uh, the actual driver, uh, and once you do that, um, because it did come up yellow, uh, and you have to pick the 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 actual do it manually, and uh, select the driver from 2007, which was pretty strange. But anyway, after we did that, uh, you could see that the uh, the prolific USB to serial COM port driver installed automatically on COM port 3. Uh, and that's basically it. So now we have the radio uh, actually turned on. We're going to start the software, do a quick read of the radio. And uh, you came in here, I had to manually configure uh, COM 3. It was defaulted on COM 1. And we'll go ahead and do a read. So you come in device and then you pick read data and that's basically what it says the radio is actually uh, blinking the display light comes on and it says uh, please don't unpin the machine while reading data so there was read success and um, here is the actual info of the radio it's listed as an HRC 5000 Interesting. When we go into DMR info, it just has uh, some basic serial number stuff. Uh, base set. Let's see what this is. We have set, work mode, tone, AB frequency set, channel A. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we have uh, frequency range, U selection, color code. Oh, slot one. And we have slot one here. Is there a slot two? Look at that. There is a slot two. Let me just get rid of this uh, Toshiba service update reminder. So there is slot two. We have U frequency. V is actually blocked out, grayed out. I guess that's because... Oh, look at that. So if you select V section, that highlights. There you go. So the 136 opens up. And, and if you go to U, the U opens up. But there is definitely slot one and slot two. Interesting. Channel bandwidth, wide band, narrow band. Interesting. Okay. And then we have TX, the group lists. Let me just scroll down here. Okay. The contact, squelch, DCCSS. Interesting. Encryption. Now we come back over here. DMR. Message and group list. Okay, so let me get, uh, I'm going to wait till uh, Dennis and 2 lbt gets here. I know he's going to want to play around with this as well. So before I even program the radio, I'm just going to look around at the software. We'll catch you later. We'll give you an update. And 2 and out.